Hello, I'm Matt with Appliancevideo.com. Uh, what we have here today is a Maytag top load washer. Basically, pretty much stop mid cycle. It's completely full of water. Uh, when we try to pull the timer, nothing happens. You know, you got a regular, this would be the agitation. We're not getting anything there. Rotate it down to the spin cycle, pull it, sitting totally dead. Uh, basically the only thing we, we checked so far was just check the, the outlet, made sure we had 120 at the outlet, which we do. So what we're going to do is we're going to just pull it out here a little bit. And we're going to unplug it. And we're going to remove the access panel on the back here. So we've got three Phillips screws along the top. And there are two more, looks like five sixteenths screws on the back panel. Oh, there are a quarter inch on the back panel. So we got two quarter inch screws on the back here that we're going to remove. Alright, now you have two screws, one on each corner that are quarter inch that hold the back side of the panel down. They're kind of uh, kind of in a tight space, so you might need a little ratchet or a stubby screwdriver. Now I just grab on both sides there and you can kind of flip the control panel up. That'll get you some access to your lid switch, your timer, uh, and you get your pressure switch in the back here. All right, now we're just oming through the contacts on the lid switch here. Uh, the contact that we show that is good is from blue to yellow. It's opening and closing and sending the power. But there's the other contact in here, which goes to the timer itself, which is between black and blue, which we're not getting continuity through. So we're suspecting at this point that we've got a bad lid switch. Uh, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and put a new lid switch in and see where we're at with it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just sort of push forward on the lid switch with the lid up and it just pops out of its position there. And just remove the connector. Reconnect your harness. Okay. Okay, uh, so we put the new lid switch in now. What we're going to do is just, just test it out. So make sure you're not touching any wires or anything. Plug it back in. And we're just going to go ahead and turn it to like an agitation setting. Pull the timer out. And it is agitating. When you open the lid, it stops. Now we are going to check the spin. 
because there is multiple contacts on this particular lid switch. Uh, not all lid switches will stop agitation when the lid is up. It is spinning and draining, and it's stopping when we open the lid. Okay, so now at this point we're just going to shut it off, unplug it, and put it all back together. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and flip the panel back over here. Watch this air tube. Just sort of seat it in place and push it back and it'll lock in. Alright, we're going to go ahead and put our screws in on the back panel here. Don't really want to over tighten them because it's just plastic so you can crack that back panel and really all they're doing is just kind of holding it in place. You just don't want it to slide forward or backwards. Alright, now we got our back panel here. Sort of set it right up on top like that. And we got two quarter inch screws. And you've got three Phillips screws along the top. Okay, now we're just gonna push it back into place. Okay, once you get it back in place, just check your fill hoses, make sure you don't have any leaks, make sure your drain hose didn't come detached. Everything looks good, so we'll go ahead and drain the rest of this water out here. Okay, and that's going to complete the repair on the top load Maytag washer. Uh, that was a lid switch. Thank you for watching appliancevideo.com.